this business of photography that we're in, or world of photography that we're in, as we've said, has changed so incredibly, hasn't mm. it, in the, in the almost 40 years that we've been involved in it. Uh, I don't know which way it's going. I can only guess, really. Uh, what do you think? How's it all going? Well, I think it, it's, it's, it'll keep going, that's for sure. The technology, uh, it's a technological industry and technology has, has been the energy and the driver and, evol and the evolution of that technology. Um, is what's really one of the really exciting things about photography as as you know we know it's very distracting all of that technology from the art of, of image making but at the same time it enables us to doesn't it you know that we've uh, we've reflected on how how enabling a, a very high resolution and and high sensitivity sensor is for example compared to to shooting film and you know new pictures that can be made pictures at night you know, pictures of wildlife that were previously impossible. Uh, and, and at the same time, us old landscape guys want to slow the sensors down so we can get more movement as well. Yeah, yeah. You know, whether it's water or trees blowing or leaves or anything. So, so there's still, uh, uh, I think, more communication between photographers and, and the industry itself would be, frankly, would be a good thing. I do think that the phone represents an existential threat to uh, to photography in one way, but I also believe that the industry will find a way of uh, of rising above that. I think that that you know the, the the way the phone, which is essentially just a small computer, is is used, mm. along with social media, makes photography such a the lifespan of a photograph so brief these days, doesn't it? Really, it's a case yeah. for most people. It's a case of shoot a picture, get it up on social media, and a week from now it's forgotten. It, it's gone, and and that's a huge change from from how we started. I, I guess it's just the way it is now. It is, but I don't think it has to be that way. Uh, it is. It is. I, I mean, I'm a great believer in the in the in the idea that there's a there's a direct connection between. You know, cave paintings in Lascaux, uh, in France, 40,000 years ago, and what we do today. You know, that the, the still image and the, the marks made on the side of a cave yeah. are related to the impulse to create, to describe, to reflect on, you know, what we've seen, to make that physical connection, you know, with, with our lives and, the, the, and what we see outside. Yeah. And, and that's, um, I think that, that will continue what, what but I think what you're saying that, that uh, needs to be addressed is, can you make images that have enough staying power to want to make you keep looking at them? Because the, the essence of the still photograph is the richness, mystery and complexity of it. It's different to a film, it's different to a time lapse. It, it, has, it has to have a life. And if it's a, a powerful picture, it will stand the test of time. And I, I think that the superficiality of, of um, digital media uh, on, and, and the internet is moving in the other direction. And that, that's certainly a concern. Which is all more, the more reason to print more pictures, isn't it? I mean, you and I both love prints. We, uh, we know that. I, I, you just can't beat the tangible quality of looking at a print, can you? There's something special about it. Undoubtedly, I think the, physical, the physicality of the print, the presence of it, the fact you can hold it in your hand or see it on the wall, and that it, it tends to, to change slightly in different lighting conditions. Um, you made, you're forced to sort of see it in you. You can hang out with a print. Yeah. You don't do that with something on screen. For me, it's what got us into photography in the first place, the print, and, and uh, I, print, I make prints just for the hell of it, just for my own for satisfaction. It. It's the final yeah. step, the consummation, really. It's been uh, great, Joe, you know, meeting up for this pint and a chat. We ought to do this more often, don't you think? We really, really should, Dave. Yeah. Yes, yeah, absolutely fantastic. And uh, what a great place to end. But the consummation of the photograph as the print, I think that's, uh, that's well, very well done. Keep exposing, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers. <laughs>